No need to man the barricades. The police and authorities in Lviv have changed sides. Here, the protesters have already won. Catholic Mass on Freedom Square earlier this evening. It's a smaller version of the Maidan in Kiev, but with bigger ambitions. Lviv has declared independence. Not from the rest of Ukraine, but from the government. People here don't reject Russian-speaking Ukrainians in the East, but they do reject the central authorities. Many people in the East, they prefer Russia, and people here prefer European Union. Yes, it's true because of history, but uh, it's one economic, it's one, uh, uh, one country, so we will uh, support each other, we will try to, to help them, they will help us. Um, we will contact with them, invite them to West Ukraine, they must show that it's not, uh, we are not their enemies and they are not our enemies. Here, just 50 miles from the Polish border, they may feel close to Europe. But that doesn't mean they accept the deal EU ministers negotiated in Kiev today. We're ready to fight. We see what's happening and this motivates us. This is a first step, but we need to rebuild our nation to be a European country with European values. Western Ukraine is taking its own path. The danger is that it may become impossible to turn back.